Well, hello there, world. Greetings. It is June 22nd, just after 8.30 p.m. And the sun is going down and my solar lights are just starting to come on. They're not all on yet. But I looked at the weather forecast and it's been cloudy for a couple of days. And tomorrow they're calling for torrential downpours. So I thought I would take a video because I haven't done an update in a while. Because I've been so busy out here. I gotta clean that up. But it, every day it's constant, um, constantly weeding and pruning and harvesting and removing plants and replanting and it's been keeping me busy so i haven't made any videos so i thought i'd make a quick video because with torrential downpours it may not look like this it may not look this pretty and right now it looks very pretty so there's my trellis now i have those bright lights now it looks it's making it look very bright out here um but i have them for the basketball court for when the kids play but i guess we'll start over here look at those beautiful lilies they just started popping open. The ones I have over in the other bed, they're already done blooming and these just started blooming, so that's nice. And then some other stuff here is already done blooming, so I'll be taking them out and then putting in other things, um, other annuals that I have growing. And you can see here, that's called Veronica. I've got Echinacea getting ready to bloom right there. I have echinacea in other parts of the garden that is already blooming. And there's Coreopsis. Right there. And this is oregano. And this oregano grows so beautifully. I absolutely love this plant. And of course, I harvest the, the oregano from it nonstop. And I dry it and I use it in a lot of different ways. And um, but then I always leave some of it, so you can see how I harvest it. I harvest around the edges, always, and I never take too much from one plant. And, um, and then I let some of them get, um, get their flowers, because they're beautiful when they flower. So you'll see I have others around here flowering. If you can see, it's starting to get dark. You can see my gazebo there is lighting up. Um, there's so many things that I could I could point out, like that's the rutabecchia, um, gloriosa daisies, and then over here, we got blueberries that we've been picking from, and then yarrow, I've been drying that out, to use that, and all the strawberries are done now, I'll be cleaning that out, getting ready for the next season. And then uh, I've been cleaning out my pollinator strip, and that's what I'm, all that stuff in the middle there, that's what that is. So over here, I've got all kinds of greens still growing. I had peas. I still have peas. Let's see. You can see all the peas. So I've been harvesting them. And then I'll be leaving a lot of them on there to dry so that I have seeds and then I also use them for sprouts over the winter and then if we go through here you can see the valerian that flowered oh, it's nice and tall and then all the way up there that's fennel that's getting ready to flower we've got coreopsis hasn't started flowering yet thyme it's flowering that's beautiful right here is my yellow rose bush that I have been harvesting all the yellow um, roses because these are my most fragrant and I use these for tea and for skincare products and uh, that light just went on and uh, now I'm saving some for the rose hips so we'll be leaving those on there to mature into the fall and then I'll be harvesting them for the hips and coming down here now we just had a lot of rain in it damage my lettuces and I'm I was gonna let that all flower because it's gonna make a gorgeous flowering plant um, but the the wind and the rain damaged it and right here look at this plant that's purple Brussels sprouts 
It's gorgeous. And it's huge. And then I have another rose bush here and it bloomed once and now it's blooming again. So it's got buds on it again. And uh, let's see, I'm stuck over here, so I gotta go this way. So I don't wanna make this video too long as usual. So I, cause I could, and it's starting to get dark, so I could go on forever. Um, but I just wanted to show you some cool stuff. So there's the beans that are growing right there. And they're actually growing beyond, already beyond the, the pole that I have. So I have to figure something out. But we got the garlic here. We'll be harvesting that in a couple of weeks. And red cabbage growing beautifully. I just fertilized everything knowing that we were going to get a lot of rain. So I expect everything to grow in real good after the next couple of days of rain. So here's the main bed. Got more fennel there, daisies. That's another oregano plant that's about to flower. And then we've got salvia. I had to chop up all the baby's breath that I had. A lot of baby's breath. Now I got to figure out something with this baby's breath because it just takes over. It was huge and I should have taken a video before I cut it out because it was absolutely huge taking over this area. So you can see it's all, it's all here and I feel bad. I feel terrible but I have to figure something out because it was blocking out. Um, it's probably why my tomatoes don't look so good over here because it was blocking out a lot of the sun. Uh, but I have my marigolds back there. I've got nasturtium. All different varieties of nasturtium right there. And let's see. We'll look at the Swiss chard is growing in real good. And in between everything here, you notice stuff in there. That is um, holy basil or also called Tulsi. And that reseeds itself. And I leave that grow because I harvest that. I use that in a million different ways. Um, that's a really, really fragrant variety of basil that's very good for your health and it makes a great tea as well. So, and it grows all summer. And then over here, we got the beans. So it's getting a little dark. I might have to call it quits here and then maybe, maybe I will make a part two video another day or maybe another video but it looks so nice out here and I didn't even get to that side but you can see over here look at this my beans I got a whole nother row of beans here that we've been going to town on um all in there so many beans you can see my carrot flowers back there all right I'm gonna have to end it here but I hope you got some kind of little glimpse of all of this back here what it looks like at night I got lighting everywhere um, it's still not even all on yet. I have lighting around that structure out there. I have lighting around that bed. So you can see the gazebo. It up. And then there's also lighting that goes along there. It's not even on yet because I guess it's not all the way dark enough yet. And then all around the, um, the gazebo, I also have lighting over there too. And we just got that vet net. I had to put it down because the wind is so strong that we got a little badminton net for the kids. So here's another little glimpse of what it looks like at night. So nice out here. Especially this time of night because you can still kind of see the plants. And then you can also see all the lighting. All right, well, that's it for now. I hope this inspires you to make your backyard into a wonderful space. Until the next video, see you later. So here's part two from this side of the garden. And you can see the lights came on over here. We got herbs drying over there. We got lights here and um, I'm gonna put some lights over there. And you can't really see any more what I have growing over here, but um, we got some tomatoes and things. So I'll take another video when it's, when we've got more light available. And I'll show you some more of the things on this side of the yard. 
and what I have all around. And hopefully we won't have too bad of a storm coming. So I will catch you in the next video. See you later.